Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am coming up with a very new topic with our Odoo version 18.3 that is AI agent. How we can utilize those AI agent and create our own AI, you know, kind of chatbot to use in different different modules. So let's jump to a practical, you know, configuration how to do that. So when you install, uh, you know, version 18.3, then you will find the AI feature over here in our applications. So when you go to applications and you search for AI, AI will be made available. I have installed it first and then inside AI, I can use my configuration. If you are using any paid API like OpenAI and Google, paid API which are available but right now I am not using any paid API I am just using a standard you know agent so let's see how we can create an agent so when I create an agent but this time I would like to you know create an agent uh, maybe to help me uh, draft uh, some beautiful content in my CRM so let me do that and uh, you know I can create uh, an agent from let's say content marketing institute so content marketing institute is you know a website which is there to help any marketer with a lot of creative content and its strategy so let me create you know agent for content marketing institute and here i will use an old model which is free so GPT 3.5 Turbo is a free model available and then I will say like I will read this from a URL that is Content Marketing Institute. Once it is loaded then I can say restrict to the sources. So source is my URL over here which I am doing right now. So GPT 3.5 Turbo is there. Maybe if I choose GPT 4 also it will launch my AI and it is saved so let let us do that gpt4 with agent for cmi so this agent is now created now if i go to my crm where i have already used two uh, you know agent or two ai so here if i delete this it will no longer so let me you know just delete this ai agent now if i want to launch one new ai field i can drag and drop here and it can ask you know anything like multi-line text or anything and this is the prompt which i need to write over here so over here i will write my prompt like uh, i would like to demand a beautiful email for my lead so what i can write over here so i can write please search content marketing institute website for writing meaningful email for lead company and notes and here I would like to prompt what exactly this search so over here I will select like company and then second one is field selector that is notes so i will insert this two field and then here i can rename by email from cmi and this ai tool is ready right now so i'm going out and over here let's say if i'm creating a new lead and that is for uh, you know to do erp requirement for let's say pharma cyclical wholesale export company so this is it and then here i can say uh, i would like to give There is pharma and then here i would like to make a note like get 
Veris Pharma. We are looking for an ERP which serves like this is a lead i am creating a lead right now to create a kind of you know uh, company name and then you know a kind of purpose or notes serves our business for uh, export sales we need to take these sales voices and payments so this is the requirement we receive now i am going here and i just need to click this button and then it will go and fetch the information from our uh, you know agent and here i am getting a response like exploring erp solution for clarice pharma and this email has been returned okay so this is how we have fetched a real-time web you know ai agent to prepare an email which i can simply copy and then send a message to responsible person so over here i can simply type i can replace the value and i can send this email to my customer okay. the same way i have prepared one more example like search web for company summary and employee reviews based on company name and contact name okay so company name and contact name is my values which is sending on this ai agent and fetching the value from the web so now if i run that script also this ai agent then it will fetch the information from web and you so clarice farm is a global publisher company and then these employee reviews and everything will be made available over here like this so this is a short and sweet example of creating innovative content this is one example now let's say i wish to create one more agent like agent for hubspot innovation so what i would like to do is i would like to read hubspot url over here and then in hubspot i would like to create some content for my leads and everything so if I go to sales and creating any, uh, you know, quotations for any product and anything over here, let's say I'm just you know, bringing a quotation and over here, if I need any help, then I can ask over here, like, please create a nice email from HubSpot. Right. so it is going and reading that so this is HubSpot is not readily available over here so what I have to do is I have to leave this and I have to go to AI agent so AI agent for HubSpot and then here I can type my requirement so please drop email to send to Various pharma for quotation. So now it is going to HubSpot and read the innovative creative email and give us a response over here in AI agent. So here now you can see the nice emailer with all the placeholders has been made available over here. Now, if I want to, you know, create the similar kind of experience in my sales also, then, you know, what I can do, I can call that field again, like AI field, multi-line text, and then I will say like search export for creating a nice covering letter for quotation and here i would like to give the value field selector is like customer and then uh, you know
product let me say yes. you know covering like sales people but product is not available over here let me check if i can find that value So it's a uh, the product is not available somehow on this particular field. I can say total I'm adding it. Now I'm exiting this and going for this AI click, and then it will say it will create you are pleased to present a code for the requested services product is not a part of this because order lines is a different object which is not available over here and hence it is you know coming over there let me check if we can bring that field somewhere here so it's a part of search helps for to drop nice covering Here I am valuing like customer then product is still not there, so I'm just discarding this. So product is a part of another layer which you know I can do here and then I can introduce but that field is not available over here, it is only you know inside that sales order line item so this is how we can use this particular field over here now another use case i would like to explore is reading the document so help this document is there and then i can attach a source so what i can attach as a source is a kind of you know one systems help desk manual which i am attaching over here and then i would like to use this particular agent help desk document for my purpose so over here i can write anything please share login screen then it will read that particular document and find my answers so that document is a kind of help desk manual which is going to be searched from our ai agent and fetching the values so right now it is still you know reading so let's wait and see how it responds. How to load a field. So it is loading, it means it is going and asking that particular document for the similar kind of information from that document. So let me check it is not fetching let me use this cpt 3.5 no it is there now okay. so this is elvis help desk manual inside that i have find everything and then the reference is elvis help desk manual 61022 is given at the end of the ai agent chatter so this is how it is going to fetch the value from your given document or any pdf files so this is how you can create your own chatbots and your own agent from a previous user guide or document or anything inside Odoo, attach over here as a source and then uh, ask the AI agent to receive the information very quickly because that document may have 500, 1000, 2000 pages but from AI agent we can quickly grab the information using this AI agent logic. Hope this small small use case will help to iterate more in terms of how this AI agent will be powerful with Odoo version 19 more effectively, more user friendly to use in different way even with the uh, different APIs or updated APIs to run our logic. Thank you guys. Have a good day.